I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on limits. You need to evaluate limit of this function when h approaches 0. The function is 5 plus h whole cube minus 125 divided by h. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now we'll solve this question in two different ways. One, I will use the technique to expand and then simplify. And we could also use factoring. Uh, for factoring, I hope you remember the formula a cube minus b cube, right? So let me write down the formula here. a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, right? So using this, we can factor and then solve this question. You can actually pause the video, solve this question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's first solve this question by expanding. So what we have here is limit h approaches 0, 5 plus h whole cube minus 125 divided by h. Now if I substitute 0 here, what do I get? test it out. If I substitute 0, I get 5 cube minus 125 and that is 0. 5 cube is 125. So we get 0 over 0. Now when you get 0 over 0, it indicates that there is a factor of h in the numerator. That makes this 0, right? So that gives an idea that factoring also is a good technique. Okay. But anyway, let's first expand and then simplify. So we have limit h approaches 0. Now what is a plus b whole cube? It is a cube, so I'm just applying the formula a cube plus 3a square b, 3a square b which is h, plus 3a b square, right, plus b cube which is h cube, right, minus 125. So we have expanded and now we'll try to simplify. That gives us limit h approaches 0. Now 5 cube is 125, right? So 5 cube and 125 cancel out. I mean, that becomes 0. I'm just canceling. That becomes 0. And what we have here is we have h as a common factor for all these terms, right? So I'll take h common from what remains. This is 25 times 3, which is we can use calculator, right? So 25 times 3 is 75. Well, let's do 3 times 5 square equals to 75. So we get 75 here plus 3 times 5, 15 plus, I mean, h also because we have factored only h and plus h square, right? Divided by h. Now h and h cancel out, correct? So we have limit h approaches 0 of 75 plus 15h plus h square. So if I substitute 0 here, I get 75 plus 0 plus 0, and that is indeed equals to 75. And therefore, limit of this function is 75. Now we'll use the second method of factoring. So we'll begin with the same equation, which is limit h approaches 0, 5 plus h whole cube minus 125 divided by h. Apply this formula. a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. So we could write this as limit h approaches 0. Now this is the whole thing is a, right? So we got a minus b. Uh, let me rewrite this as 5 plus h whole cube minus 5 cube. 125 is 5 cube, right? Okay. Now we'll factor. It's clear, right? Uh, so it gives us a cube, a minus b. So a minus b, which is 5 plus h minus 5. This is a minus b, the first term, right? The next term is square of this. That means 5 plus h whole square plus multiplication of these two, 5 times 5 plus h plus square of this, which is 5 square, right? Divided by h. Now from here, you can see 5 plus h minus 5 is h, right? So we get h here, 5 plus h whole square. So we have 
5 plus h whole square plus 5 times 5 plus h plus 5 square divided by h. Now we can cancel these and then substitute h equals to 0. So we get 5 square plus 5 times 5 plus 5 square, right? That is 25 plus 25 plus 25 and that is indeed 75. So you get exactly the same answer and you could adopt any one of these methods to solve. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. If you like, you can put a like, share and subscribe and feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.